Hello crafty friends, it's Sharon Luska here with My Crafty Greetings and we are on another Team Tiny Hop today and today we are going to be blowing up some rainbows. We're going to be blowing up, painting, flicking, smooshing, doing all kinds of fun with rainbow backgrounds but this happens to be one of my favorites because I'm using a can of compressed air. I stole this baby off my husband's desk and besides liking to sneak up and spray him in the side of the head with it, this is one of my other favorite things to do. I've got my Bombay India inks, they're Dr. P.H. Martins here, and I've selected out a few of the colors specifically that I liked that seem to work together best for this particular background. I think I was really inspired by the Simon Says Stamp April uh, paper that they included in their kit. It seemed so cool and being here in Canada we don't typically get that kind of stuff. Well I think our kits get like up to $70 by the time they get here. So I thought I would make some of this cool rainbow funkiness for myself here at home and this was one of my ideas to make something happen. Now of course I took my Tombow glue, mixed it with a little bit of water, and flicked a whole bunch of splatters on, and then got out that big huge roll of uh, foil paper, or foil film, and went ahead and stuck it all over that background to give it lots of sparkly gold goodness. And one of the things that I thought that I wanted to make this time was a whole bunch of Mother's Day cards, because it's snowy here, and <laughs> I'm not sure if we're going to get some nice weather by the time Mother's Day comes. Even the geese are hiding out up on our roof where it's nice and warm. And uh, I thought, you know, it might be kind of nice when I'm making some of these cards if I actually took a bunch down to uh, our food bank and donated them so that uh, some of the young people there that were picking things out would have a chance to grab a card for their mom for Mother's Day. So this was another one that I came up with. This is just Nina Solar White uh, background here. And all I'm doing is dropping the ink down at full concentration. I haven't sprayed any water on this. And I'm just chasing the drips all over the paper and seeing where they land. I've sped it up a little bit here but uh, I'm having a lot of fun spraying this all over the place. And it's really taking me back to my days as a teenager in the late 80s. <laughs> so uh, it makes me wanna put a side ponytail on and bebop around the house to a little bit of Rick Astley maybe. Anyways, I did flick some more of that uh, diluted Tombow glue, the Mono Multi, and uh, went ahead and added some of that uh, foil, gold foil that I had to make that nice and shiny and shimmery there. I changed the lighting to see if it helped. Anyways, I cut it on an angle and put some funky greetings on here. I used a few different letters again. Most of my letters here today are going to be either the Altenew Caps Bold Alphabet or the Momenta 2 inch uppercase serif. So I decided that this time around I wanted to see if I could spray out a background and not quite make it as intense and crazy as the first one because I do love that veining. I think it's absolutely fantastic and I think it gives such a neat finish but I think the more ink I get on it the less you can see of all the little veins that go on and I still think I maybe overdid this one a tiny tiny bit but at least you get a little bit more of the idea. Now, if you don't have a can of air or you run out because you've been fooling around with it too much like I have, you can get a straw and if you're a little bit hot-winded, well, I guess that makes me hot-winded, but if you have a little bit of hot wind, you can go and blow yourself out of background too and get some of this funkiness as well. The whole trick is you definitely want to use watercolor paper and you want to make sure that you pre-spray the uh, paper before you start dropping on any of your inks and blowing them around. You're not going to get as quite a fine veining as you would with the can of air, but it's still pretty fun looking backgrounds anyways. So these two I'm saving to work on some other cards. Now, I really wanted to keep going with the rainbow background idea. And I thought, you know, it'd be kind of cool to do some splatters. And I've been having so much fun with this ink, as you can tell by my background palette. <laughs> and if you saw the stuff in my craft room, oh boy, there's ink dots everywhere. I thought a box would help and this stuff just flies. So maybe use a bigger box than I used. I just used a box lid. But I'm giving this all a good spray here and uh, letting that yummy yummy color get itself spread all over the background here. 
And once it dries back, it gives an absolutely gorgeous result. These two cards were made with the same lettering, a few little greetings, and a couple of die cut hearts. Now I just wanted to say a few quick things about Team Tiny. It is a hashtag hop and the hashtag this month is Team Tiny Spring April Showers. And please hop along and see all of the channels on the hop. Give them some love. If you haven't subscribed to them, please think about subscribing. We absolutely love and appreciate your support. The other thing I wanted to make sure that I mentioned is that on May the 7th, Kiona the Craft Therapist is going to be celebrating her 500 subscriber milestone with a hop. And that hop is going to be a ton of fun and it is going to have prizes, prizes, prizes. So put it on your calendar, it's something you definitely don't want to miss out. Now as you saw, I hand painted these stripes on and uh, who can resist painting rainbow stripes other than painting rainbow stripes and adding gold yummy goodness to them and as you saw I got out my Tombow Mono Multi and put some uh, brushy striped gold lines on here and added my gold lettering and then I also decided you know what I could take some of these thin strips of paper that I have laying around and I'm gonna pop them up with some thin foam tape and I'm just going to try and layer them out equally over each of these, and this is the card that I came up with. Thank you for joining me today. It's been a pleasure having you, and thank you so much for supporting this little channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love it if you would. Please join in my shenanigans and crafty fun, and have a great day. Bye. A.